sulfonamide or sulfonamide is the basis of several groups of drugs. The original antibacterial sulfonamides are synthetic antimicrobial agents that contain the sulfonamide group. Some sulfonamides are also devoid of antibacterial activity, for example, the anticonvulsant sultiame. The sulfonylureas and thiazide diuretics are newer drug groups based on the antibacterial sulfonamides. Allergies to sulfonamide are common, hence medications containing sulfonamides are prescribed carefully. It is important to make a distinction between sulfur drugs and other sulfur-containing drugs and additives, such as sulfates and sulfites, which are chemically unrelated to the sulfonamide group, and do not cause the same hypersensitivity reactions seen in the sulfonamides. Because sulfonamides displace bilirubin from albumin, conicterus is an important potential side effect of sulfonamide use. Function, antimicrobial. In bacteria, antibacterial sulfonamides act as competitive inhibitors of the enzyme dihydroptrote synthetase, an enzyme involved in folate synthesis. Sulfonamides are therefore bacteriostatic and inhibit growth and multiplication of bacteria, but do not kill them. Humans, in contrast to bacteria, acquire folate through the diet. Other uses, the sulfonamide chemical moiety is also present in other medications that are not antimicrobials, including thiazide diuretics, loop diuretics, acetazolamide, sulfonylureas, and some COX-2 inhibitors. Sulfaslazine, in addition to its use as an antibiotic, is also used in the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease. History, sulfonamide drugs were the first antimicrobial drugs, and paved the way for the antibiotic revolution in medicine. The first sulfonamide, trade name Prontosil, was a prodrug. Experiments with Prontosil began in 1932 in the laboratories of Bayer AG, at that time a component of the huge German chemical trust IG Farben. The Bayer team believed that coal tar dyes which are able to bind preferentially to bacteria and parasites might be used to attack harmful organisms in the body. After years of fruitless trial and error work on hundreds of dyes, a team led by physician researcher Gerard Dommagk finally found one that worked a red dye synthesized by Bayer chemist Joseph Clara that had remarkable effects on stopping some bacterial infections in mice. The first official communication about the breakthrough discovery was not published until 1935, more than two years after the drug was patented by Clara and his research partner Fritz Mietzsch. Prontosil, as Bayer named the new drug was the first medicine ever discovered that could effectively treat a range of bacterial infections inside the body. It had a strong protective action against infections caused by streptococci, C, including blood infections, childbed fever, and erysipelas, and a lesser effect on infections caused by other Koch C. However, it had no effect at all in the test tube, exerting its antibacterial action only in live animals. Later, it was discovered by Borvit, Federico Nitti and JNTH. Jacques Tra copyright Fauer L, a French research team led by Ernest Fournier at the Pasteur Institute, that the drug was metabolized into two pieces inside the body, releasing from the inactive dye portion a smaller, colorless, active compound called sulfanilamide. The discovery helped establish the concept of bioactivation, and dashed the German corporation's dreams of enormous profit. The active molecule sulfanilamide had first been synthesized in 1906 and was widely used in the dye-making industry. Its patent had since expired and the drug was available to anyone. The result was a sulfur craze. For several years in the late 1930s, hundreds of manufacturers produced tens of thousands of tons of myriad forms of sulfur. This and non-existent testing requirements led to the elixir sulfanilamide disaster in the fall of 1937, during which at least 100 people were poisoned with diethylene glycol. This led to the passage of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act in 1938 in the United States. As the first and only effective antibiotic available in the years before penicillin, sulfur drugs continued to thrive through the early years of World War II. They are credited with saving the lives of tens of thousands of patients, including Franklin Delano Roosevelt, J.R. and Winston Churchill. 
sulfur had a central role in preventing wound infections during the war. American soldiers were issued a first aid kit containing sulfur pills and powder, and were told to sprinkle it on any open wound. The sulfanilamide compound is more active in the protonated form. The drug has very low solubility and sometimes can crystallize in the kidneys, due to its first pKa of around 10. This is a very painful experience, so patients are told to take the medication with copious amounts of water. Newer analogous compounds prevent this complication because they have a lower pKa, around 5 or Euro 6, making them more likely to remain in a soluble form. Many thousands of molecules containing the sulfanilamide structure have been created since its discovery, yielding improved formulations with greater effectiveness and less toxicity. Sulfur drugs are still widely used for conditions such as acne and urinary tract infections, and are receiving renewed interest for the treatment of infections caused by bacteria resistant to other antibiotics. Preparation Sulfonamides are prepared by the reaction of a sulfonyl chloride with ammonia or an ammon. Certain sulfonamides are sometimes mixed with the drug trimethoprim, which acts against dihydrofolate reductase. As of 2013, Republic of Ireland is the largest exporter worldwide of sulfonamides, accounting for approximately 32% of total exports. List of sulfonamides, child antibacterial drugs, pediazole, antimicrobials, sulfonylureas, diuretics, anticonvulsants, ethoxolamide, sultiame, topiramate, zonosamide, dermatologicals, mafenide, antiretrovirals, Comprenavir, darunavir, delaverdine, fosamprenavir, tipranavir, other stimulant, azalban, side effects. Sulfonamides have the potential to cause a variety of untoward reactions, including urinary tract disorders, homopneotic disorders, porphyria, and hypersensitivity reactions. When used in large doses, they may cause a strong allergic reaction. Two of the most serious are Stevens or Euro Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. Approximately 3% of the general population have adverse reactions when treated with sulfonamide antimicrobials. Of note is the observation that patients with HIV have a much higher prevalence, at about 60%. Hypersensitivity reactions are less common in known antibiotic sulfonamides, and, though controversial, the available evidence suggests those with hypersensitivity to sulfonamide antibiotics do not have an increased risk of hypersensitivity reaction to the known antibiotic agents. A key component to the allergic response to sulfonamide antibiotics is the arylamine group at N4, found in sulfamethoxazole, sulfaslazine, sulfadiazine, and the antiretrovirals amprenavir and fosamprenavir. Other sulfonamide drugs do not contain this arylamine group. Available evidence suggests that patients who were allergic to arylamine sulfonamides do not cross-react to sulfonamides that lack the arylamine group, and may therefore safely take non-arylamine sulfonamides. It has therefore been argued that the terms sulfonamide allergy or sulfur allergy are misleading, and should be replaced by a reference to a specific drug. Two regions of the sulfonamide antibiotic chemical structure are implicated in the hypersensitivity reactions associated with the class. The first is the N1 heterocyclic ring, which causes a type I hypersensitivity reaction. The second is the N4 amino nitrogen that, in a stereospecific process, forms reactive metabolites that cause either direct cytotoxicity or immunologic response. The known antibiotic sulfonamides lack both of these structures. The most common manifestations of a hypersensitivity reaction to sulfur drugs are rash and hives. However, there are several life-threatening manifestations of hypersensitivity to sulfur drugs, including Stevens or Euro Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, egg granulocytosis, hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, fulminant hepatic necrosis and acute pancreatitis, among others. See also, Antibiotic, Timeline of Antibiotics, Elixir Sulfanilamide, References. External links, List of Sulfonamides, Author of the Demon Under the Microscope, A History of the Discovery of the Sulfur Drugs, A History of the Fight Against Tuberculosis in Canada, Presentation Speech, 
Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, 1939, The History of WW2 Medicine, Five Medical Miracles of the Sulfur Drugs. Popular Science, June 1942, PPA 73 Euro 78, HTTP, www.lifemdwc424antibioticshistory htm, a history of antibiotics.